Hey everybody, one of Weezing here. It's about 1.30 a.m. early, uh, Monday morning, May 19th. Had an interesting quandary here. I've got Blast Zone on the portal. I wanted Dark Blast Zone to have the best paths possible. Initial assumptions on my end, that would be reaction satisfaction and temperatures rising for my playstyle. That said, without knowing anything about any of the four paths, I could be making a horrible mistake. Didn't want to do that and have to reset him, although I think he's only level 2. Um, it's principle of the matter, <laughs> you know. Um, so essentially what I did, I got the X-Bone starter pack, Blast Zone out, got him the cash with the uh, Popthorn trick, took him down, uh, temperatures rising, it turns out to be, it doesn't hit near as hard as fuel injected, but I personally prefer it. Just recorded reaction satisfaction up top, I think it's also pretty dadgum cool. Uh, now, however, I'm going to take the ignition path. This is again the far more obvious upgrade. I think it'll also be pretty cool, it might even hit harder than that one. Uh, maybe not the range but it might be a more impressive number so uh, we're gonna back out of here this is again the Wii U guy you can tell because of the hat and of course more importantly he's a level 10 character but uh, we'll hop in here uh, on the bottom end this guy is down fuel injected by the way uh, recorded that first but, uh, we'll come in here ignition infuse bombs with fire flaming bombs do more damage to enemies so we're gonna go ahead and grab that I like the warning if you're unsure come watch my videos they will help you out and the way they're formatted the five video format they're about 10 minutes a piece so uh, very educational and informative that said the first upgrade down the ignition path is going to be flaming bombs again pretty awesome name there uh, bombs catch fire when they pass through the firewall created by flame breath dealing increased damage in an area seems like they could have left off in an area but uh, we'll go ahead and grab that for 960. We'll take a look at these one at a time. And what's crazy, the Soul Gym is going to super enhance this thing. Um, more on that here shortly. But uh, let's see if we can actually send it through the wall as is. Oops, oh my bad. Yeah, so here's the bomb without. Well, okay. Here's the bomb as is without the firewall. There it is when it goes through the wall. So as you can see, it basically flames. Uh, just to recap for you, with power bombs, I think we're up to 32 to 48. And now I'm going to put down a little bit of a firewall there. 40. Uh, so that should be 40 to 60. That's pretty impressive. Let me go ahead and get to my spreadsheet here. Da -da -da. Flaming bombs are going to do 40 to 60. And again, you can fire those off really fast. I'll just go on slow to document things. But, I mean, you get the idea of the same tenacity he had box stock you can use there so back over to going uh, top end the ignition path number two is fired up for 1280 bear in mind I've got the 18 wing sapphires flaming bombs do even more damage in a larger area just like reaction satisfaction we got the bump in damage and the bump in the area can't go wrong there let's go ahead and buy this can't get the soul gym just yet that'll be the special grand finale for this video I believe so. Uh, we'll come out this way. Let's take a look at it before we go on. Holding down the wrong button. Uh, all right. There's our tertiary. There's the bomb that way. There's the bomb that way. Let me come over here so we can. Huh? Doesn't look big area there, but I'm guessing once we hit one of these, it will. Anyway, uh, that repeat damage is the bottom in Soul Gym if you want your like, hey, what's going on? Uh, 44 to 66, but we saw the critical number that time. So let me go ahead and uh, get that down. Not a huge increase there, but again, it's a big number. So 44 to 66. Now I want to hit the middle guy and actually see if we can get a bigger area. Huh. Well, the good news is the way he arcs them, we can deal damage to both. Um, let's see, try to hit that guy. So it is a, I'd say maybe like double. I'll just go ahead and pin that in. Double the explosion area. I hopefully you know what I mean by that. All right, now um, gonna come back over here to Gorm. This is gonna be really nice. Um, 
Alright, top end soul gem is called Bomb Party, as you can see here. 2240 is the price with the discount. New armor enhancements, which sadly doesn't give us plus 8 or plus 40 or anything like that. It's just, I guess, like a bad choice of words. Uh, again, I am an armor enthusiast, so uh, toying with me like that is not appreciated. But uh, new armor enhancements allow two bombs to be thrown at once. That might seem stupid or insignificant to you. You have to remember, this is a guy that I honestly felt box stock. You know, just with bomb throw was really, really good. Now he can basically do that two times. However, with power bombs, he would be doing, you know, the uh, 32 to 48, I believe, as you can see there. Uh, it looked like he might increase his range, too. Can't get him to lock him into that one, but, uh, Nonetheless, I mean, really good range, 32 to 48. It's just a really cool uh, attack there. However, now, whenever we throw out this flame wall Excellent. and throw the bombs through, you're going to get the 44 to 66. And note, I can basically have four bombs coming at you at all times. When I just press Y and you see two bombs, you think, oh, that's not really you know, that impressive. But when you start rapid tapping it, at all times, after the initial throw, enemies or opponents in PvP have four bombs coming at them. Uh, 32 will go worst case scenario, that's 64 per pair, that's 128, so there's 128 damage right there. Uh, that is significant. Now, like I said, throw down that flame wall, and you're up, you know, and you're doing the full gear. Uh, I'm not sure why it's Anyway, um, significant damage, 44 to 66, but you're doing it multiple times now, uh, absolutely insane. Again, I do not for the life of me understand why I haven't had people, you know, I get the messages and comments all the time like, oh, you gotta try this path, or, you know, man, Spy Rise is so great, you know, and Star Strike's a beast, yada yada. Hadn't heard Jack about Blastzone, and everyone has him because he came out in the starter pack. So I don't know if he's just like underappreciated because of that. Uh, maybe he wasn't flashy or he didn't appeal to people. I don't know, but he does some crazy damage, and uh, it's all very efficient in my opinion. Um, that said, this was his ignition path. Obviously, it's the really obvious choice there. Uh, the bombs are awesome box stock. They get way better with power bombs. Sticky bombs is a nice touch. Um, only catch with ignition path is you actually have to have flame breath you know used to take full advantage of it. However when you factor in the soul gem even if you're not taking advantage of the ignition path um, makes things really nice. Um, for most people, I'd have to recommend Ignition Path. For me personally, I prefer Reaction Satisfaction. Um, I think if you're like me and you kind of think, hey, you know, his bombs are really good box stock, the base upgrades addressed them, I think I need to go improve the tertiary. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I'm not sure that Reaction Satisfaction isn't the better choice. I just feel like uh, for the vast majority of people I hear from and deal with, Ignition Path is probably what you'd want to take. But my personal recommendation and endorsement is for Reaction Satisfaction and Temperatures Rising. Uh, that's probably in the minority there. It ultimately comes down to your personal play style, but uh, bottom line, you really can't go wrong with anything on Blast Zone, and that is always a good thing to say. So, uh, that said, this is it. Take that link at the top of the video description box. You'll be taken to a post dedicated to Blast Zone. You'll see a video for his base upgrades. You'll see this ignition path, the reaction satisfaction path. Down below, you'll see fuel injected and temperatures rising. And in addition to that, you'll see my spreadsheet uh, has damage numbers for every single attack he has. It'll help you make a really quick decision on which path is right for you. And as I mentioned, these videos are much shorter in the five video format, so if you're unsure about the top end, uh, spend a minute or two looking at the spreadsheet, investigate it. Within 10-15 minutes, you'll know exactly what you want to take. So, uh, should work out well for you. That's the ultimate goal, to help you pick the best path for you and your Skylanders. That said, uh, due to the fact of the way I did this, what I plan to do, Dark Blast Zone, he's a special character in my opinion. He deserves a standalone video. Uh, Would have done it just the base upgrades and one path top and bottom for him. As is, I had the luxury of going ahead and taking... 
uh, a second regular blast zone down the others to make sure I got the best ones for him. In this case, I would have been right. I would have liked both of these paths best for him, reaction satisfaction and temperatures rising, respectively. That said, what I will do for him is make one giant video, base upgrades coupled with reaction satisfaction and temperatures rising so it'll be a little different but again he's a special character and I'm gonna go ahead and just have these four videos from the two regular blast zones up to cover the past so uh, that said as always thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed that'll keep you up with all the latest you can follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook circle me on Google Plus whichever you prefer again thanks for watching and I will catch you back here for the dark blast zone extravaganza